the Russian space program is is very much in decline. Um, and that's a couple of that's due to a couple of different reasons. You know, first of all, you know, their budgets have been declining. Um, and, you know, back after the fall of the Soviet Union, you know, the United States actually stepped in to try to help keep Russian rocket scientists employed so that they wouldn't go build ICBMs in North Korea or places like that. And so one of the things the United States did was they started buying U.S. rocket engines, this RD-180 engine that that has served as the, the, the main engine of the Atlas V rocket um, that was built by Lockheed Martin. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not really clear what purpose space exploration serves in Russia anymore. You know, for 20 years, they've been a partner with the United States and the International Space Station Program. And they've talked about maybe they're going to build their own space station in the future, but that's unlikely to happen. And more recently, they've talked about partnering with China, which has ambitions to build a lunar space science station. Um, and they actually signed a framework agreement earlier this year um, to that end, the, the heads of the Chinese and Russian space agencies. But it's pretty clear to people who watch this closely that if China goes back to the moon, Russia would not be an equal partner. They would be a junior partner. 